Hi, I'm Jane and welcome to the last days of my 22nd. I genuinely wanted to live my life in 2020, but that year was wretched. 2020 taught me that man makes plans, but God has the final say. The year was nothing to write home about, but regardless, I'm grateful for life and my little wins. This is my video dump. I turned 23 today and I couldn't be happier because 23 is my lucky number and I have embarked on a journey of clarity and being at peace with myself. In my 22nd year, I had plans to see the world and be with my family but the pandemic hit in March. Okay, I'm tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass bray. In February, I was able to host my first travel pop-up restaurant. It was an amazing experience for me, which is something I am honestly proud of. I took out time, traveled to Manila, and I had the best pop-up ever. To me, yes, I learned in a few ways, but this is something that I am very proud to have achieved in 2020. Finally, we got locked down and I was bored to the brim. I took YouTube as my full-time job and created content that you guys loved back to back. I jumped on a few challenges that I never posted LOL. <laughs> And I don't know why, okay. I also embarked on a journey of discovering things I had interest in, such as food styling, food and product photography, creating recipes and baking, which I actually did share some of them on my channel on, and also on my Insta story. I realized how good my channel was doing based on views and subscribers. And we hit 500 subscribers in December. Yay, you guys. I was so excited because it's been a long time coming. I had been on YouTube for over a year and imagine it took me more than one year to hit 500 subscribers. But anyways, the little wins that matters. Thank you guys for supporting me always. During lockdown, I was dating. I got to know a few people via social media platforms. I'm still talking to most of them. Why some? Couldn't just walk out and that's fine. 
I spent so much time FaceTiming my family and friends and every some of you that were booed up actually. I'm not gonna lie. I really wanted to be booed up at some point, but you know <laughs> some things just they occur. <laughs> I remember breaking down in September, I cried. I didn't actually know what was wrong with me, but at this point I think I was dealing with you know depression, anxiety and insomnia like i could barely sleep so what i did was just take a walk by the beach and i'm just grateful for my friend mesoma she was always there to hold my hands and you know a shoulder for me to cry on all the time i really did meet my mom at this point i would cry every single day just like a baby but you know what i've got family who always checked up on me and make sure i was doing okay and i couldn't trade them for anything they are just the best in the world every single day i wrote down how i felt and it was just the best decision that i made so that way i could feel a lot more better now answers happened and it couldn't even get any better at all I've been dealing with, you know, health challenges, health attack here and there once in a while since 2017 to date and trust me, it is very expensive to maintain and in a pandemic where I really wasn't making much, it was really hard. But with the right support system, life was good. I had friends, I had my family, I had a lot of people call me and check up on me and gave me, you know, those support that I needed. I felt really better. I couldn't have you know traded my friendship with these people or my relationship with certain people for anything Finally, I needed a break because man cannot kill yourself, okay? So I took a little break, I traveled out of Cebu City and I got back and life was a bit back on track. I visited some resorts, attended social events and then January came.
hello january so you guys january came and my youtube took off in the most crazy way ever i mean like we just hit 500 in december and in january we're already in like 600 subscribers and in february we're already in 700 subscribers i just couldn't fathom like how was this happening you guys paid the gas up okay and this was you guys were stepping on the gas on times three and i'm so grateful for each and every one of you that have stuck with me up until now i mean the youtube journey is crazy and it's another topic for another day but i'm so grateful for every one of you that have liked shared commented posted on your insta story i am so happy for every one of you i love you all so much and if you got it to this point please subscribe to my channel because you know what we are on the fucking 23rd floor bitches and you know what i'm not stopping here i am the strongest woman that i know and i know that i would you know do better this year. you guys more content that you deserve and that's some period cheers to 23